I'm Marcia McNutt. I'm the director of the U.S. Geological Survey, probably better known to most people as the USGS. Well, um, if we want to start way back at the beginning, I guess that I always imagined myself as a scientist, even when I was uh, a young child, because I always saw myself as someone who liked to solve puzzles. But uh, I never saw myself as someone who would be in a lab coat uh, with test tubes. I always saw myself as doing science outside. So it was uh, perhaps no surprise that when I got to college and took my first geology class, I just thought, this is incredibly cool. Um, here's the ultimate science outside, going out scrambling up and down mountains and um, learning about science uh, firsthand from first principles. And it was uh, the ultimate hands-on science where you could get down and dirty and figure out how the earth. And I think we have made uh, a lot of um, progress in this uh, problem from the standpoint that um, while we still can't exactly predict earthquakes, we have um, made great inroads in what we call earthquake forecasting. Better understanding of which faults are more likely to be dangerous than other faults, and therefore which areas should be priorities for, say, retrofitting schools and hospitals, and uh, which areas should be zoned for um, uh, better building codes uh, rather than others because they are more imminent for earthquake activity than others. And after all, that's really what it's all about. Earthquakes don't kill people. Buildings kill people. And to know that an earthquake is going to happen next week doesn't give you any time. You really need um, long lead times in order to get the building stock in shape to withstand the earthquake regardless of when it's going to happen. Well, a couple things. Um, uh, I think a couple things have already happened. Um, one is to raise the profile of the agency, and I think a lot of um, circumstances have already helped with that, such as the Gulf spill and all of the earthquakes we've had. Um, but uh, also, um, I would like to leave um, the USGS with um, each and every staff member in the USGS with a personal sense of pride and accomplishment for how great the agency is. Because I think after years of lackluster budgets and sometimes um, a sense that other agencies in the administration don't necessarily appreciate them, I think for once they're actually seeing a lot of their science get put into action. And um, I can't tell them enough how much their work is appreciated. And I think they're finally getting the message that their work is important, it's timely, and it's... Um